from Los Angeles. It's the Tom Micah Show. Whatever. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And... um, as you all know, and I always warn you boys, Valentine's Day is not far away. Not far away at all. A couple of weeks. And um, generally, I say if you're having uh, what you consider to be a casual relationship, this is a good day to make yourself scarce. You don't want to be um, anywhere the woman you're banging can find you. On days like the 12th, 13th, and 14th of February, you want to be, um, quote-unquote, out of town on business, quote-unquote, visiting relatives, quote-unquote, working late. Whatever you have to do, you don't want to be around the woman who you have been um, banging. Just as I told you about New Year's Eve being a special day for women, and I know many of you uh, did duck out for New Year's Eve as we advised you. A woman who is banging you this time of year starts looking ahead to February 14th. Ever had a woman say to you, uh, I already got you that nine day present. That is a woman who is trying to trap you into the relationship you've been trying to avoid. So I would, uh, as I do all the time, every year, I recommend to you that this is a good time to start an argument, start a fight, tell her that you're going to be out of town. Don't mention Valentine's Day. Just say, you know, you've got something uh, business-wise you've got to do, you've got to leave, you've got relatives who are sick, whatever it takes. Put yourself in the witness protection program for a little while and, and, and make yourself scarce. And I also recommend to you that you um, use Valentine's Day as an opportunity to, um, to get laid. Because on February the 14th, you think bars are closing on February the 14th? You think they'll be out of business? Oh, no. That is when women who feel lonely, when their self-esteem is at its lowest, that is when they will be going out and boozing, putting themselves into a perfectly vulnerable position to have meaningless sex with someone they've just met. And that should be you. So my recommendation to you is tell her you're out of town, tell her you're going somewhere, And use that opportunity to hit the bars, hit the clubs, and find all the chicks who are feeling sorry for themselves. And I can pretty much guarantee you're going to get laid. And you're going to be with a woman that you consider to be out of your league. There will be plenty of hot, lonely, sad chicks just waiting to be taken advantage of. So do you really want to be spending your time figuring out what car to buy or figuring out what gift she will like? Figuring out what restaurant to take her to? Figuring out what flowers she likes? Figuring out what her size is? Do you really want to be doing that? Or do we rather be uh, plowing some new fields? Listen to this email, and it'll give you some food for thought. This is what you're in for if you decide not to make yourself scarce. Tom writes in and says, Tom, I 
I know most guys love receiving tools for presents. Even though it's generally their job around the house to fix things, they're happy to get a new tool as a gift. On the other hand, a lot of women, not all, get all bent out of shape if they receive gifts that would help them do their jobs around the house. Cooking tools, cleaning tools, etc. In general, most women in relationships tend to do a larger share of the cleaning and cooking in the house. And men tend to do a larger share of the upkeep and repairs of the house. So why the double standard? If they want to be considered equals, why would they get mad at their significant other for giving them a crock pot? While they get a drill for a present. Thankfully, my girlfriend is not one of these women. We both agree that this would be a good subject for the show. Tom thanks us for doing what we do and avoiding all that PC crap, as he puts it. And uh, I guarantee you that many of you, not all of you, of course, but many of you will be in for it. You will have bought the wrong gift. You will have sent the wrong flower. Don't you know I hate roses? Don't you know I love orchids? Don't you know I like southern Italian food? I don't like northern Italian food. Don't you know I hate this restaurant? Don't you know I hate restaurants? Don't you know I'm trying to lose weight? Why did you buy me Godiva chocolates? This is what you're in for. Maybe you have forgotten how ungrateful most American bitches are on days like Valentine's Day. So do you really want to uh, be with somebody you've been banging on February the 14th? Or will you duck out? Tom. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM Life is not running around the circle of your penis. Actually, it is. No, I don't think so. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM Here's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. It's Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hello, son. How are you? Hey, I'm doing quite well. How are you, sir? Do you care, Robert? You're damn right. Sir. I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome. I want for you. I just did the DTV. You did? I did. I dumped that bitch in a heart date. And uh, you just did this in time for Valentine's Day? Was that the idea? I did this about two days ago, and she kind of helped the situation. She kind of gave me a ultimatum. We had this big, she wanted to have this big plan going to stay with the folks and the family, and I'm like, no, it just is not happening. I basically, I told her, I'm going fishing with the guys. I'm not going to be around. And she goes, well, you don't love me. And I said, that had nothing to do with it. I said, the fact is, I'm going fishing with the guys. Mm -hmm. Well, if you love me, and fishing's more important than that, then you just go ahead and go. And I said, well, you know what? I said, this, this is, it ain't working. I said, I'm going. She said, well, if you go, I'm not going to be around. I said, well, pack your sh** and go. Sorry, they didn't say that. Uh -huh. I said, pack your crap and go. Adios. Don't let the dog hit you in the ass on the way out. The dog bite. Oh, we lost you. But I'm proud of you, baby. 1-800-5800-TOMAS Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Oh, not much, Adam. Hey, I had a question for you. Yeah. Uh, just a minute ago... Uh, you advocated or told somebody, told people to go ahead and take off, tell their wives, girlfriends, whatever, they're not going to be around. No, that's not what I said. I, I specifically said, people, you're banging. Okay, I didn't hear that part. Well, I said it. Uh, no, I'm not telling you to dump your wife for Valentine's Day. That's not what I said. Okay, what about uh, girlfriends and such? Well, again, I'm, I was talking about people you were primarily there to bang, and I said also, chicks, you are banging. If they are banging you around Valentine's Day, they start to think this is a serious relationship. Okay. This is where you nip that in the bud. Okay. Thank you. Do you are you in that position right now or what? No, I'm not. I was just calling to find out. Because right, I, earlier I had told you, or earlier I had heard you say to uh, other another caller had called in and you specifically said that you never advocate uh, cheating, but then I thought... When you are married. Uh, am I? Yes, I am. I don't know. No. I said I do not advocate people cheating when they're married. Okay. I don't. All right. That's okay. what I have said. Okay. But I did not say if you're banging some broad on a regular basis and it gets close to February the 14th and she's uh, expecting you to take her to dinner and uh, uh, be with her on that day and make a big stink, I did not say that you shouldn't dump her for a few days until the heat is off. 
All right. Well, thank you for clearing that up. Okay. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Is it that complicated? Is this brain surgery, folks? I don't understand. I mean, I think I can make it about as clear as I can possibly make it here. What was the question again? Jesus. If you're banging abroad and it's getting close to Valentine's Day, now's the time to dump her before she thinks you take her seriously. God damn, I hate all the dopey married broads and and, and, and complete buffoons who call in here. Ain't anything that happening in mind? You think they should cheat on each other? When did I say that? I say the exact opposite of this program all the time. If you want to bang around, do it when you're single. I say it all the time. People are always looking for a contradiction of some kind. Well, you're not going to find it. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. How are you doing, sir? Do you care? Of course I care. I'm friend. doing great, pal. That's great to hear. I have a bit of a quandary here, my friend. Mm. My wife of 10 years left me about three months ago. and She after, left you. Uh, why? Well, after going through four years of education that I put her through, she decided that I didn't meet up to her standards. I'm sure she didn't decide that at the end of the four years, by the way. No, I'm sure she didn't. I felt it about... No, Don, she was bragging to her friends that uh, she was going to get you to pay for everything and then dump you. Yes. I bet, you know, and I make good money, but still it pisses me off that she left me after all this time. Mm -hmm. But here we are about Valentine's Day, and she's starting to talk about, hey, let's go out, let's get together. Really starting to tug on my heartstrings, and I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just go forward with my life or... Why would you want to do that? Ten years, you know. A pal, she dumped you. She took yeah. your money... She got an education, and then she dumped you. I've never been treated like this before. Well, why would you even consider going out with her on Valentine's Day? I don't know. Don't be a chump. I've never been a chump. Then it's don't be one off. now. It's really pissing me off that, I'm, that I've gotten weak over one woman. Yeah, I've well, never been weak on a woman. This is a woman who kicked your ass. Yeah. Is that why I'm freaking out like this? Well, you know what? Uh, I don't know what the reason is. All I'm telling you is that you should be using Valentine's Day as your opportunity to pick up on all those sad, lonely chicks. Yeah. Like your wife will be on that day, by the way. <laughs> maybe she'll find someone else. Uh, maybe. Hopefully somebody will uh, pump her and dump her and uh, get a little revenge on your part. Okay. Hang on a second, Jim. Uh, Kevin, what did you want to say to Jim here? Jim, you are a puss, my man. Here's what you do. Set up a nice romantic dinner. Say, oh, yeah, I definitely want to talk to you. I want to take you out. We're going to meet over here, da-da-da-da-da. And then leave her hanging, go out with the boys, tie on a little buzz, and get laid, my friend. Yeah. And that's what you do. That sounds Got like it? a good plan. That sounds like a good plan, my friend. <laughs> it's not just a good plan. It's a great plan. That's what you need to do, man. You go out and have a good time. Forget about it. Leave her hanging. She's going to call you for days and days and days, and guess what you're going to do? You're not going to return her phone calls. You're not going to give her a time of day because she dumped you. So you know yeah. what? Now she can feel the pain. She can go through it. You can go about your business, make five figures, make ten figures, six figures, whatever the hell you make, and have a great time and not worry about it. Got it? Got it. Do it. Thanks. Kevin, Jim, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Susan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I love you. Well, thank you. And I wasn't angry. I just needed to talk to you because I think you are so sexy, Tom. Really? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I love everything you say. Mm-hmm. You are just awesome. Hmm. So that's all I wanted to tell you. Okay. You're so handsome, Tom. Thank you. I want you. Really? Yes. I believe that when I see it, dear. <laughs> Bye, Tom. Bye. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Tom, I'm just trying not to vomit from that last chick who just called me. I know. Oh. I know. Uh, I just wanted to call, and I wanted to say that uh, Valentine's Day is not Valentine's Day to me. It's find a new piece of A day for me. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, we got all these, just like you say, you got all these women out there who hot to trot, and why waste your time? Do you do this every year? You know, not every year, because sometimes you're with a girl who's just so hot, you just can't stop banging her, but, you know... They just hope that they piss you off the night before you go out and find a new one. But uh, that dude who just called, you know, he he says he agrees, but I, I bet I'd be willing to bet my left testicle that he's going to be confessing his undying love to that chick on uh, February 14th, whenever. What, what day is Valentine's Day? I don't even know the day. It's February 14th, and by the way, boys, uh, it happens to be on a Saturday night this year. How great is that? If you want to go out and pick up other chicks who are by themselves boozing, how it's perfect super. is that? That's super. But I just want to give a shout-out to my homie, Justin, and then I want to be taking out Kobe style, if you don't mind, my my man. Kobe Bryant style. Mike, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You hear beats in my heart. Oh. You hear I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Lane on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How are you there, my friend? All right, pal. Listen, you know, I want to give somebody a little bit of word of advice. A lot of these guys, they go through this heart throb and this big problem situation, and then what happens is they go out and they find something different, and they forget about what they had before. This guy that just called up and he was ranting and raving about his ex-wife and the whole bit, I can guarantee you, if he went out and he found somebody hotter, he'd forget all about her. And you know what? Women will turn around on a dime and drop a guy for another guy in a heartbeat. So, in the mix, these guys, they just don't get it. And there's just so much truth to what you say about these women. They will abuse and use a guy to the nth degree, and when they're done, if they know the game and they got the skills, your history. Yep. <laughs> yep, I think I think you're right about that. And uh, uh, you know, all these guys who are paying for women's educations, educations, cars, charge accounts, and none of them have the balls to do what women do. And that is, if they become professionals, like attorneys or doctors or whatever, to sue them for lifetime ownership of half their practices. And not to mention, if a girl does it, she's got skills. If a guy does it, he's a dog. Right. <laughs> nice talking to you. I know. Thank you, Lane. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Jay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Dad? All right, son. Hey, uh, last year I was dating a girl. It was right around Valentine's Day. Came and went, and I acted like it's been, like I totally forgot about it. Yes. And she brought it up, you know, several days later. She said, uh, "Well, Valentine's Day just kind of came and went, didn't it?" And I said, yeah, so it's Steak and DJ Day. And that was the day before. You forgot you that one, too, didn't you? <laughs> Notice there are no holidays for guys. Even Father's Day is considered a throwaway next to Mother's Day. Yeah. It is so goddamn typical. So I say dump these broads. Dump them before February 14th. Pick up on them again later on if you want to. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And here we are telling you about two weeks before Valentine's Day that uh, this is a good time to start making yourself scarce. Start a fight. Do whatever you have to do. But on uh, February the 14th, you don't want to be with that chick. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Diana, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm on my way home from work, and I'm just laughing really, really hard at this topic. Um, Valentine's Day is such a joke. I mean, I, really cool girls don't even take it seriously. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've been, in a, I've been in a relationship I'm in right now for about four years, and, like, the last thing I want is some cheap, cheesy, stupid, made for Valentine's Day gift. I mean, it's, it's clearly a totally manufactured holiday that's... It's not even a holiday. It's just a product of 
capitalist society. I mean, well, really yeah. we, we live in a capitalist society, and there are many things we do that are products of capitalism. This program is products of capitalism. I'm talking to you, and somebody <laughs> is selling time True. Uh, during the breaks to advertise. Uh, everything's a product of our capitalist society. So Absolutely. That's not a reason not to like it. Uh, the best reason not to like it is because it is forced romance. Romance with a gun to your head. And there's nothing romantic about a man feeling like he's got a gun to his head. Having to pick a restaurant, pick a bouquet of flowers, having to run around and pick the right card. There's nothing romantic about it. Tom, I couldn't agree more. I mean, real, honest romance isn't coaxed by some day on the calendar. It's just something that happens organically, and I just think it's lame. And we don't, we don't even, I don't even think about it. We don't do anything special if we end up going out to dinner. Actually, we don't, because the restaurants are all full of girls and guys with unrealistic expectations anyway. So mm -hmm. I just think it's funny. And, um, like, people who get uh, engaged or, you know, like, you know, I don't know. I, I totally agree with you. We live in a capitalist society. We all benefit from capitalism totally. I, I love capitalism. I've been I a big beneficiary of capitalism. <laughs> I can see that. Love it. I, can... I love money. <laughs> love it. Who doesn't? <laughs> well, anyway. lots of people who don't have it, uh, they're in denial, and they say things like, well, money doesn't buy you love. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Who needs money? <laughs> we'll live on love. We'll love health. That's yeah, well, go right ahead and live on love. I'm living on cash. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Diana. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. He's our telephone number. This is Don on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, you know, I have to be honest. Normally, you can really get under my skin, and that's part of why I love to listen to you. But as far as the topic today is concerned, you know, for the most part, I really agree with you. I just think that at this time of the year, if a guy has feelings that way if he feels that he doesn't want to be pressured into the expectation of the holiday and he should just say it rather than feel like the well uh yes here's the deal if you're if it's a, if it's somebody you're banging if it's a booty call or something just above a booty call you don't want to ruin your chances of continuing to, to bang that ass uh, later on <laughs> so being honest about this probably will ruin your chances of any further banging well, okay, but on the other Now, on the other hand, if you're in an ongoing relationship and you want to bail out of Valentine's Day, well, of course, you should be honest about it. Give it your best shot. Well, I just think you've got to find a different way to spend, just to try to make yourself scarce and things, because you know what? The girl's going to figure it out anyway. Mm -hmm. At least if they've got a brain in their head, they will. <laughs> yeah, well... So, I mean, you know, it, it's two plus two is four. So, I mean, I'm just saying it would be, I think, more refreshing. And I've been there. I think most women have. And you can feel it. You kind of know, well, you know, it's coming up. If this isn't a serious relationship or if this isn't something that can go on, then why bother? Because it's, it's wasting your time, too, you know? Right. So uh, are you in favor of or against Valentine's Day? Um, personally, I've never made a really big deal out of it. I mean, my husband and I, we kind of, we, we do things for each other more throughout the year just because we know each other well and what's important to one another. Right. It's nice to be acknowledged, you know, just to say, oh, you know, here, sweetie, I went and picked up a card or something. But right. before when I heard you talking about, you know, oh, they're going to complain if you get them chocolate because they want to lose weight or, right. you know, it's the wrong size or whatever. I personally think that that is just, that's horrendous. If someone gives you a gift that you're not, you know, thrilled with, you can be polite and courteous about it and just handle it on your own. You don't need to eat the candy, you know, whatever. Right. But you don't need to say something negative about yeah, it. Yeah, well, most chicks, once they get a sign of the dotted line, just take us for granted. That's the bottom line. Well, I agree with that, but I just want to let you know we're not all like that. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Don. Thank you for the call. You want hits? Well, Pepsi's got them for you. Friday, January 30th on MTV, Pepsi presents MTV Super Bowl Friday Night, live from Houston, featuring some of the hottest players in the NFL and brand new music from an all-star lineup of acts, hosted by Cedric the Entertainer. And be sure to look for specially marked packages of Pepsi for your chance to win one of 100 million free song downloads. One in three caps wins. Go to Pepsi.com starting Super Bowl weekend for details. It's the Super Bowl. It's Pepsi. It's the Cola. No purchase necessary. See rules for details. Redeemed by April 30th, 2000. 2004, Void were prohibited. 1-800-5800 Tom. What did you just say? 1-800-5800-866. Gotcha. The Tom Likas Show. Yeah, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800 Tom is our telephone number. We're a couple of weeks before Valentine's Day. 
This is your opportunity now to dump that bitch. And um, I'm wondering uh, how you feel about that. Alicia, you're on the top like his show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I have been listening to you for so long, and this is my first time talking to you. I'm so excited. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, um, I think that there should not be Valentine's Day. And I just recently broke up with my friend whose birthday is Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And I felt kind of bad, but they were asking me why I broke up with him, and I was telling the person who answered your phone that it's, I kind of feel like one of the guys who listen to Like Us 101. Uh -huh. I have never, ever been the kind of girl that you guys talk about, but I keep being with guys who are like that. I pay for everything. I do everything. Really? And then I get nothing. How come we never meet chicks like you? I don't know. I thought, I mean, all the girls I know are doing the same thing. We've well, I always say on this program, you tend to know people who are like you. Yes, yes. And that doesn't mean oh, most. I... That doesn't mean most people are like you. It just means no, you've got half a dozen really good friends, and they're all like you. And the other 115 million women, they're they're different. Are sluts and yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gold diggers and. Yeah, because we're all highly successful females who keep hooking up with these um, just not as successful guys. Let's put it that way. Let's put it nicely. Well, highly successful females uh, tend to hook up with a certain kind of guy because they're too busy to have a real relationship. Yeah. And so you end up settling for uh, less than the best. Yeah. Because uh, what, let's face it, what quality of guy is going to wait around until you're done working overtime or until you get back from a business trip? Yeah, the guy without a job. The guy with nothing better to do. The kind of guy who's in the jury pool. The kind of guy who waits in line to buy tickets to a concert because he's got all day free. Totally. That's the kind of guys you get. Instead the kind of people who said O.J. Simpson is not guilty, <laughs> that's the kind of people that are left for you. So true. I always say about relationships with women, if when I get home, the lights are out, the house is dark, I don't need you. <laughs> I can do that alone. True. So the result is, who do you have? The pathetic slob has nothing better to do than keep leaving your messages on your voicemail. Oh, my God. While you're in a meeting. Because <laughs> he's got nothing to do with his time. So true. They smoke so weed because they don't have to drive their cars anywhere or do anything. They, get, oh they booze God. it up, right? You know him, yeah. I know them all. Because you know what? <laughs> I've been with your kind. And I know what kind of guys you generally get. It's true. So what's the solution then? Go for the other hot, successful chicks? I mean, really. Well, that, that might be one way to go, and many of you do, by the way, I might I add. Know. But, <laughs> but uh, you know what, really, the, the real truth is that uh, you, as long as you insist on being a highly successful chick, you are consigned to a lifetime of booty calls. Oh, I know. And uh, meeting guys while you're on the road doing business trips and stuff. And then, uh, the, you know, calling them after you leave town and that kind of thing. That, that's what you're consigned to do. It's totally true. You know, when I have dated these, um, you ever see an old movie called Broadcast News with Holly Hunter? Yeah, totally. That, that chick is you. Okay. <laughs> always working, always eating on the run, never has a successful relationship. Never. You know the type I'm talking about because that's yeah. you, okay? And then you can't figure out why you can't have a relationship. And the reality what is... What am I doing wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the reality is, uh, in the process of being successful, uh, you are not available. You see, what men want, and the reason a man will take you to dinner, mm -hmm. is he's paying for your availability and exclusivity. Mm -hmm. So the reason you pay for everything is because no man gets you exclusively, and you are not available enough. Totally. I feel like when you say that, I feel like, yeah, that is what I'm paying for when I pay for dinner. That's right. <laughs> you, I, that, that is exactly what you're trying to get. And, of course, you get exclusivity because you get guys who have nothing better to do with their time. It's so true. And so, of course, we're going to be with one loser after another. Because uh, every man I know, I, every man of means, every man who's successful, wants a woman who will be there when I ring the doorbell. Yeah. I don't want to ring the doorbell and then leave you a note. 
I don't wa- of- I don't want to be leaving messages on your voicemail. But then if I I don't want to talk to your secretary asking me what is this in reference to. <laughs> but then if I'm the girl answering the door, then I'm a gold digger though. Yeah, but yeah, but that, that's you see that's why you have to find a middle ground somewhere. The chicks who work who have the most success in life are the ones who have a balance between work and home. Yeah. You know, they work nine to five. Mm-hmm. They come home after a normal day's work. Uh, they actually do their own housework and some cooking around the house. <sighs> they are available on the weekend to go away for the weekend or to do things at night. Uh huh. Those are the women who have uh, a good balance in life. Uh, they have good relationships and a good career. But the chicks who are super motivated and super successful, they're all a bunch of Oprah Winfrey's, always out with Stedman, never wearing a wedding dress. I'm not Oprah. Yeah, but uh, you, maybe you're better looking than Oprah. But, but you yeah. know what I'm talking about, the whole Oprah yeah. and Stedman thing. Will she ever marry Stedman? She's 50 now. No. Uh, and Right, because you know what? If Stedman works as hard as he does and makes as much money as he does, when he gets home, he wants to say, honey, I'm home, and you're there in a negligee. Yeah, right. You, you, you are not uh, leaving me messages on the answering machine telling you to, telling me to go to the store and pick something up. <laughs> so true. The guy who will go to the store and pick something up is a loser who has nothing better to do with his tie. Yeah. Well, and that's like the least he could do if he's not doing anything, Right. Right. Well, then that, that's my point. So eventually, you depend on these losers to run, and they become your errand boy. They run errands for you. They, if you tell them, I won't be home till midnight, they're parked in front of your house at midnight. You get home at 12.15. They're sitting there with the headlights on, waiting for you to get there. Right? You've dated these guys. See, you've done this. No, yeah. So far. And women get mad when I say this, but it, it is absolutely 100% true. Oh, no, you're making, I mean, it's perfect sense. And then to, then to, then to capsulize all of it, when you, because you, they're making a big deal, and I've, I've mentioned this on the air before, about it's the last season of Sex in the City and the cultural implications. Look, if you look at that show, what do you have? You have a bunch of turkey-necked, 40-something chicks. God, they're so pathetic. Who have spent their lives working at careers mm-hmm. and spending their money on shoes and going out and drinking Cosmos and talking about all the inadequacies of all the men they date. But you know what? If they took a goddamn cooking class and practiced being home at 5 o'clock at night, <laughs> instead of going out drinking Cosmos and getting soused and complaining about all the men they're banging, maybe they'd have babies and relationships and marriages. Oh, it seems much easier to be a guy. It's not that it's easier to be a guy. It's just that uh, there's, no, there's no male equivalent of the housewife. Men do not want to do your bidding. Any man of substance, any man you'd want to be with and respect, does not want to go to in and out and pick up your dinner and wait at your house for you to come home. No. There are no men like that. No, I know. So you have to decide if you want to be really, really successful at work or really, really successful at home. And you know what happens? Women spend all these years between ages 18 and 30 trying to be really successful at work. And then when they turn 30, they realize, oh, my God. I'm all alone. I have no personal life. Mm-hmm. Now I need a man. And, um, and so who do you end up with? You end up with Poindexter, who hasn't been on a date in his whole life. Oh, uh, the nice guy. The nice guy who can fix your computer. <laughs> the techie. The geeky oh, guy. Oh, He's reliable. He'll be there even when you're on a business trip. Yeah. He'll fill his time uh, putting together a PC from scratch or, you know, watching uh, watching tech TV or something. Oh, it's torture. And that's that's your future right there. No way. Yeah. So that meaning you'll work even later so you don't have to come home and look at that. Deal with what's yeah, happening. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, well that, what do you think always happens? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a cute, the cute uh, mail office, mail, mail room guy or something, right? Right. The mail room guy, the Domino's pizza guy, the pool boy. <laughs> and the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I love you so much. Will you take me out with the bong hit? Here you go, Alicia. No cough. <laughs> Tom like it. 
Tom like it. 1-800-5800-866. Even though you've got many issues with me, you continue to listen. Isn't that sick? Yeah. It's like bottleneckers on the freeway. What's going on with my stupid uh, waste of time? Rubberneckers. Whatever. The Tom Likas like Show. Chris, you're the last word this hour on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? Hi, Chris. Well, I had a high-maintenance one down in Miami. She was a definite South Beach 10. High-maintenance it could be from New England. Shipped down to Miami. You know how that is, right? Mm-hmm. Every year it had to be the most expensive diamonds and flowers and dinner on Valentine's Day. Well, things didn't go so well in the marriage. Had to get divorced. So on uh, Valentine's Day about three years ago, knock, knock, knock on the door. She's expecting flowers, and the sheriff comes up and says, hello, are you, uh, uh, uh? She answers. She gets 